Context. I, F29, have been with my boyfriend Adam, M27, for two and a half years. He's the quiet slash shy type. It's very hard to get him to open up about what bothers him. For now I'm the one with an income. We get along easily though he can be a bit unreasonable sometimes pointy point g he doesn't cook cause he's worried I won't like his food but still cooks for himself and the smells pretty telling that he's cooking is good. Another e g and that is he doesn't do most chores saying he's worried he might break slash damage something. It's frustrating but we are working on fixing it. Now on to the more complicated issue. I'd put money aside since 2015 to buy an apartment, and I'm finally able to get it done this year. When I told him this he got agitated and said I should wait a little longer till we are married, but I said no. He started complaining about how bad he feels about seeing me buy the apartment myself without having him contribute. I asked what I was supposed to do because it kinda sounded like a he problem no offense, but he got so worked up and gave me two options. Point one is I put his name on the title. Two is not by the apartment till marriage, so it'll become shared marital asset. I said no and that was final, and he should drop it. He did eventually. At his family's house, I was taken aback when he started complaining about the apartment and again told me to either put his name on the title or wait till marriage to buy it, cause he feels like there's a huge power imbalance here and that he can't bring himself to accept it. He also said that it makes him feel like he contributes nothing. I snapped and said the reason you feel like you contribute nothing is because you literally contribute nothing and I suggest you fix that by actually finding a job and having a decent income. His family looked shocked. He glanced at me then got up and walked away. I waited for him to come back but had to go home cause his mom said he felt too overwhelmed and wanted some space. She then basically started shaming for my statement and hinted about financial abuse and control over her son. He's not home yet demanding another tool about the apartment probably expecting me to agree to one option. Edit in case it matters, he has a disability that limits his job opportunities. NTA. First off, look up weaponized incompetence. Your BF is manipulating you into managing anything he views as inconvenient. As for this particular event, your boyfriend gathered people he suspected would be on his side and ambushed you in a convo that you already hadn't ended and then has the audacity to complain about power balances? Is there anything this man does that isn't manipulative? Keep moving forward with your life and don't hesitate to leave him by the wayside as you do. He's only going to hold you back while leeching as much as he can in the process. This holy crap. He did gather people who would be on his side and ambush you. It is a manipulative tactic, and he did it deliberately. Your BF is trying to bully you into getting an asset. I don't think he respects you at all. He's very selfish too. He'd be the kind of guy who'd leave you when you got sick in marriage. And don't expect him to ever change. If anything this all will get worse. You will do 100% of everything and carry him through life on your back which is exactly what he wants. In summation, my unemployed boyfriend, who does no housework, refuses to cook, only for me, he will happily cook for himself, and contributes nothing financially, expects me to give him half of my apartment. He wants this to be a marital asset, because he wants to be able to take half of it freely, when he walks away. Girl, you are anti A, but why are you even in this relationship? I will seriously never understand these women who describe their men, and there's not a single positive attribute to him. Like girl, you clearly have cognition enough to realize your boyfriend does sweet far for you, so why are you with him? NTA. He brought it up in front of his family on purpose, so they could help him try and manipulate you. Don't let it work. PS if he's happy freeloading, now that won't change in the future. He's showing you who he is. Believe him. He won't even let up eat his cooking or pick up around the house. All of this is by design. Buy your place, keep your finances separate, and be happy. NTA he's playing a con and he literally told you. He wants his name on the home, or he wants you to marry him, so he still legally gets the home as your husband. I suggest leaving before you purchase the home, so he has no legal claim at all. This guy's doing a mirror or a flag dance with his weaponized incompetence. Put my name on a property I gave zero money towards? Abso fucking not. 
Op, you nailed it when you told him he contributes all of nothing to your relationship. Why on earth are you dragging this relationship out? That's not a relationship. He's basically demanding you adopt him. NTA. Being single with your own apartment is better than carrying that dead weight around for life. NTA. He doesn't cook, clean, or have a job. Why are you with him? Seriously, what is the upside of this relationship for you at all? Seriously drop this guy and move on. He is literally worse than a child you are having to care for. And worse he wants say, and a legal stake in things he has put no effort or money into all. NTA. Have you heard the phrase weaponized incompetence? Look it up. Also it's a definite red flag with the apartment. This is far beyond weaponized incompetence, Imo. He's not pretending he can't do it, he's saying she'll make him feel bad. He's making it asterisk her asterisk fault that he's not contributing. Asterisk her asterisk fault that he's not stepping up. Asterisk her asterisk fault that they aren't married. Everything is asterisk her fault asterisk. He's not cooking, cleaning, or contributing financially. You're his sugar daddy. NTA for your statement, but definitely ta, if you expect he will change any time soon, and if you marry him, it's not a partnership, by the apartment, move in alone. I agree, he's also not contributing in terms of emotional support, which a partner should be. NTA, he cooks for himself, yet not for you, uses emotional manipulation to get out of chores, i.e., worried about messing it up slash breaking something, doesn't have a job, so he literally can't contribute financially, and is demanding that an apartment you saved up to get for 7 years be in both your names as a shared marital asset. If you two did get married and ended up divorcing or breaking up before that, with his name on the lease as well, you could very well lose your apartment. He isn't contributing to it, he shouldn't get his name to it. I know that love makes us all overlook things a bit, and I'm sure that you're together for a number of good reasons, but this kind of behavior is unacceptable and childish. Good luck getting your apartment, though. Definitely NTA. NTA one second paragraph sounds a lot like weaponized incompetence too. He brought it up in front of family to get mama to back him three. He sounds like a bit of a leech tbh4. For what reason does he want his name on the title if he hasn't put money into it? He wants to have a financial interest in something in which he hasn't even invested one dime. Op, you pay for everything, you do all the chores, you even have to prepare meals for yourself because he can't stir himself to cook for two instead of one. He is grossly taking advantage of you. He apparently doesn't want a partner, he wants another mother. And speaking of mothers, you might remind us that everything you said was the truth. Edit, changed a word. NTA. This guy is a black hole, he just sucks everything in and gives nothing. You're close to being enough or being with him and putting up with his nonsense. Won't cook, clean or work. What are you doing? Have some standards for yourself. Don't put his name on anything, buy your apartment and think about this relationship. Happy cake day but yes, he won't cook and when he does, not for you, that's weird plus he seems to have excuses for most of the things and major red flag for having his family involved in the lieu of guilting you in don't fall for this op. NTA. Lol his mum thinks it's financial abuse because you won't sign over half of a huge lifetime asset. Everyone has probably already said it, but look up weaponized incompetence. NTA tell him to stay with his mum as she's clearly not done rearing him into a functioning adult. If and when he gets his act together, you may decide to resume relationship, or perhaps you'd move on by then. NTA please leave this guy. One day you will look back and go what the hell was I thinking. Once you take a break and take you love, goggles off you will see that there is no benefit to this man being in your life. He cooks but only for himself. What a bullshit excuse. Even if he has no income he could at least be supportive of your own achievements and buying property. But not only does he contribute nothing but he also wants to hold you back and use his parents to guilt trip you over your achievements. Why girl? No guy's 1000% better than this guy. NTA what are you doing? Why are you even in this relationship with a man that contributes nothing to said relationship? 
he has a disability, but it doesn't mean he can't cook or help clean around the house. What are you doing? Why are you being an asshole to yourself? Buy your apartment and move forward without this guy. Having a job isn't everything but he needs to be able to be a partner. NTA. You're his partner not his carer. While you should support him with his disability, as you obviously do, he also has a responsibility to support you where he can. He's obviously highly insecure, and it seems his mother enables this from what you've said. Does he get any kind of therapy? Buy your apartment and keep it as your asset, because this kind of relationship could end up draining you emotionally and financially x. NTA. That he wants to be on the deed without contributing anything says quite a lot. Combine this with him not cleaning and cooking, just for himself is further proof that he is only concerned for himself. That his mother is upset is laughable. I bet she is afraid he will mooch off of her when she was hoping to foist him off on you. Now that he has shown his true colors, can you imagine what your life will be like in 10 years if you stay with him? Run, just run. NTA. Please reread everything you wrote on your post. Now pretend that this is a good friend or family member or hell, even some random person you just met. Would you advise them to stay in this relationship? I hope that you would tell them that they were being taken advantage of. That they deserve someone who respects them, someone who loves them not someone who is only with them for free housing and food. NTA. It sounds like he's being manipulative and bringing that up in front of his family now makes you look like the bad person. It's his fault he feels the way he feels, and if he doesn't have a job, then he is contributing nothing, and I'd be telling his mom to, but out or pay up her son's portion, if she wants an opinion. NTA, he's literally demanding you hand over hundreds of thousands of dollars, and can't even cook you some eggs. Change your locks, while he sulks at mums. OMG what a freeloader. Why are you with this man? He is offended, cause he can't get half of the flat for free. A flat WTF. NTA. NTA. And update us when you've broken up with him. I second this. PLS op update us as the situation progresses. And please, please dump him. He is living comfortably knowing that all the burdens of running your household and lives rest on your shoulders. He watches you cook, clean and wash, and never thinks to himself that he should help. Instead he is very much content with the fact that you slave away while he does nothing. Doesn't sound so romantic when I put it like this, huh? Please, op, he's using you and you deserve better. You would only be an AH if you do this to yourself any longer. That's weaponized incompetence. NTA and please break up. NTA, he's manipulating you and playing at weaponizes incompetence about chores, cooking and work. Not to be insensitive, but disability or not he needs to be making an effort in some way and not mooching off you. Do you really want to be his mommy entirely taking care of him while he manipulates you for the rest of your life? What does he bring to this relationship? NTA the anxiety over chores sounds like utter BS. It's a very common tactic, especially by men. If they're bad at something, you'll just do it for them. He's telling you to wait until marriage, but you're not even engaged. If you put him on the title, he still wouldn't be contributing to anything. Please, do not marry this guy. It's called weaponized incompetence. NTA he tried to force your hand in front of his family. Don't put his name on the apartment. I don't know babes, but it sounds like it's time to break up. Go buy your apartment and live happily without this baggage you call a boyfriend. NTA. He isn't working, but pretends to be incompetent when it comes to household chores. He sees you as his sugar mama and doesn't want you to start collecting assets before the marriage license has been signed. He brings up things in front of his family that are frankly none of their business. His mom accuses you of financial abuse and being controlling. Tell her she is right and that if she is so keen to continue supporting him financially while he does nothing around the house, he can stay there. NTA. As you said, he contributes nothing, but expects to get half the apartment. He's bludging off you, financially and with chores, and won't even share food. He's been spinning a yarn to his family, or they are equally horrible, or both. This relationship is not sustainable. Drop him. You can do better. At least make sure that the apartment remains yours. 
NDA there are so many red flags here, no contributions financially slash culinarily slash housekeeping. Buy the apartment in your name, if he doesn't have the emotional intelligence to accept that, he certainly doesn't have it for marriage. Why WBTA to yourself, if you'd accept one of his conditions? Wow. The two options are basically potentially taking over what you've saved up until now without any contribution. NTA read this post back to yourself, and then wake up and dump him. He doesn't have a job, doesn't clean, doesn't cook but wants you to add his name to a house he contributed literally nothing to. Come on, you know you can do better. Agreed. He's so quiet and shy, and can't possibly lift a finger for her, but can't shut up about how she needs to split her hard-earned apartment with him legally it's just gross. NTA what does he contribute to make you happy? And why are you with him? His mom lashed out at you, because she doesn't want to deal with his bullshit. You deserve better. Break up please, he's using you. NTA. He wants you to put his name on the title, even though he hasn't contributed anything towards it, because of his feelings. And his family are acting, as though you're being unfair. Run. It's pretty telling, that the boyfriend's idea of balancing out the power is equal ownership of such a significant asset, as opposed to equal contribution to the purchase of that asset.